Hi, this is Eric Yates, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to add a video to your SchoolWire's web page. Sometimes you want to show the world what you're doing in class, and you've shot some video and you want to share it on your web page. This is how. We're going to go to your home section in your site manager and select new page. And the kind of page we want is a flex page, most likely. And let's just call it the video page here. And the best choice for us here is to create a blank page, and we'll save that. We're going to use a blank page, and let's see if I can find our video page in the list here. When I open it, I need to add a special tool, and that special tool is right here. It looks like the little triangle and screwdriver. I'm going to click that, and I get a window that allows me to uh, pick something from the toolbox. Well, I have a rich media object I want to insert. That's my video. Now, I don't have a Flash movie. We don't have any uh, video equipment that records in the Flash format. So I'm going to select the second choice, movie or sound, and the next button. Now I have to find my file. Fortunately, I can browse my computer to look for it. And I see here some choices. Wow, I could even upload it ahead of time to my uh, SchoolWire site. I didn't do that yet, so I'm going to go from my computer or network. Select the next button and go browsing into my computer. Now if I get into my H drive space and all this, I'm going to just breeze through here to find our to find our video sample. SchoolWire's here we go. I want a video clip called Hammer Movie Clip. Now notice that there are no spaces in this title. Um, one of the things we've discovered with school wires is that when you upload uh, any file, it's best not to have spaces. Or if you're going to put spaces in, add the underscore yourself when you name a file. You see that little underline there. Uh, use that with the shift key and the key right after the zero on your keyboard. Um, that will help. If you don't do that, uh, you're going to have some problems. So either no spaces or add the underscore. So I've selected the file, click next, and I'm going to wait for it to upload. Just clicking one time here, being patient. There we go. My file has been uploaded and selected. If you have a big movie file, the one I've uploaded is tiny. It's going to take a while, so be patient. One click at a time. One click on select, and I can see in the select your file section here, I've got a crazy web address. I don't have to worry about that. Now, auto start. Do I want the video to start as soon as someone gets to the page? If I do, true. Um, if I don't, false. Controller. Do I want the little play button, stop button, and all that? visible? Yes. So I'm going to keep true there. And loop. Do I want it to play endlessly until someone goes away from the page? Probably not. So I'm going to select false. And now I'm going to simply click insert. And what I should see is something appear here. But uh, there's nothing. Why didn't anything appear? Very important tip here. Do you see any cursor uh, blinking in this white space? No, you don't. Uh, we should have checked for that ahead of time. So this will help us review the steps. Click to see the cursor blinking in the white space. Go to the toolbox icon. We're going to go to rich media objects, movie or sound. Next, select our file New from my computer or network. And I'm going to select my file, click open, click next one time and wait. Click select and wait. Auto start false, controller true, and loop false, insert. Now I see something good has happened. Now this little video window here, this media player window, is like a, a letter that I type. So if I want to click right after it, I can type something here. Okay, But probably I'll just hit my arrow key to go right before it, hit enter, and now I'm going to type um, some text here. And of course, I want to save this. And I'm glad that was successful. And I'm going to just close my site manager window and see what this looks like on my actual web page. So let me go to my home page, my teacher home page here, and I see hmm, oh, video page. Click on that. Here is my video. It's loaded. I see the text watch my video. All I have to do is click play. And I should see it happen.
Wonderful. That's how you add a video to your teacher webpage. If you have any questions, please call or email. I'm extension 1818 on our new phone system.